G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for another free day-long tournament. This one is an Imps tournament. Uh, you can play it by going on to BBO. Free day-long tournament, and yeah, you might have missed it by the time you watch it, but uh, anyway, we'll jump straight in and see what we can actually do. Um, Alright, so here I have 10, 12 points, so the points are really evenly split. Uh, there's just a one spade bid. Uh, two spades from a partner. I'm going to compete to three spades. I don't think I'm going to make game here. One spade, one, two hearts. Free bid. Two spades, three hearts. Are we beating this? Should I... So, I feel like either I should bid four spades and save, or I should double this. Now, I know the points are pretty low, but East has hearts and diamonds. Um, uh, like this is such a tricky decision. Okay, so what do I expect? I, I feel like I, I might be able to make nine tricks. Can they really make four hearts? If they've got like a stiff spade, which is entirely likely, then we get one spade and we need like three club tricks because I'm not going to get a diamond if my partner has diamonds that are being finessable. So I'm going to guess that spades are 3-1 and that we've got one spade and two club tricks because east might be something like a 3-4-5-1 or 3-3-5-2 in which case we get one spade trick and two club tricks. So I'm going to trust the opponents and get to four spades doubled. Hopefully go one down or make. Alright, so we've got... Two heart losers, two diamond losers, two club losers. Uh, looks like we've got one spade, one club, probably no diamonds. At, at the moment, I can go three down, so I want to sort of eliminate suits. Um, so let's just win and try a diamond up. I should keep count of points. Partner's got 6, I've got 12, which is 18. 22 missing, so it's going to be 11 and 11. East doesn't open uh, balanced 11s. Uh, so if East is unbalanced, that could be possible, in which case it could be 11 and 11 or 12 and 10. West does appear to have a singleton spade. Okay, so Ace of Diamonds, Jack of Diamonds there. Now seeing the King of Hearts and a club. Alright, well they prevented me uh, by pushing one club through they prevented me doing anything. East uh, Right, just I, I played that too quickly. He says the ace of diamonds, and West has queen jack of diamonds, jack of hearts. So let, let's just recap. When a spade lead, I won. I played a diamond up to the king and ace. I played the king of hearts, which won, and then they played a club through, which I ducked. Then they played a heart, which East won, and played a diamond over to there, and now they played the Jack of Hearts. So I think West had Queen Jack of Hearts, Queen Jack of Diamonds, and probably King Queen of Clubs, which means East had Ace of Diamonds, Ace of King of Hearts. Points are 11-11. I can only hope to drop the Doubleton King Queen of Clubs offside. Not to be and bad sacrifice in the end. Um, my partner had four spades and that was it. Uh, but minus 500 versus... Looks like passing was the right answer because they've got uh, one spade and one club. They make 450 so I lose a couple of imps or maybe they make some people double four hearts in which case they lose like minus 690 so 
might not be as terrible, but let's say lose two imps. All right. Uh, 12, 15 points, so one no trump. King of Hearts lead. Okay, so let's just duck this one because I want them to continue. Good. Got them all wishy-washy right there. Just got them in the bath queue unless that was King Queen Dalton, which it pretty much obviously was. That's my guess. I, I really don't know if it was, but... Uh, uh, so I had 15, dummy had 4 points, 19, 21 missing. Uh, it can double finesse in clubs, and I think I'll do that. Duck a spade. And... Now I'm thinking about whether I should duck this one or if I should win ace, because if I duck this, they might then switch to diamonds, which I then feel like I have to duck as well. But as it stands, I might be able to get three clubs and two hearts. Uh, so I only get one discard anyway, so let's just duck this. Yeah, so switch to diamonds. I still can't get the rest of the tricks no matter what, so we'll duck that one. So win. West had king, queen of spades, king, queen of hearts, queen of diamonds. I'm starting to feel bad about this double finesse here. East is like pretty obviously uh, holding on to uh, <laughs> Jack of Clubs. They threw away the King of Diamonds and they threw away the King of Spades. Uh, so they unblocked this. So if I take the finesse, East wins and plays a low spade to their partner who gets the rest. Uh, I think. I, I should know the shape by now, probably. East. Uh, Uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna finesse. Uh, so there was no harm in finessing because uh, the spades were four, well, five, three, three, two. But I was just so sure <laughs> East had it. Um, so one down, I guess, is bad because I tried a double finesse when. I could have just played like club to the ace, club up, but that is really bad odds. Um, the double finesse, I think, is clear, but obviously didn't work. And minus 100. I think that will be lose a couple of imps. I don't think anyone will go more off than that. Um, yeah. Down one. So be it. Board number three. 12, 16 points, balanced hand. One no trump. Two clubs, Capaletti. So he's got clubs. Right. And me to lead. I've got single suited clubs, so West probably has some majors. Or well, my partner is like semi balanced. I'm going to try leading a diamond. What? Low diamond to the king and ace, and then my. Uh, King and Jack. Now my partner switched. What's going on there? And why did I see the Jack? Does East have Ace, Jack and Ducked? Does my partner have Ace, King and never took a bid? If my partner's got Ace, King, they've got the rest. Uh, so six of hearts lead. That could be top of a Dalton. Might be low from the Jack. I'm not sure yet. But it looks like hearts are 3-2 either way. I don't think East has four hearts. Uh, let's cover that. Alright, so my partner led the 6 from Jack 6-5, which is just weird. Um...
My partner doesn't have five spades, so let's duck this. Queen of clubs and a spades. Okay, queen of spades. Yeah. So they're 3-3, three, three, so they're down one at least. I could try cashing a top diamond. East has... Like, I can either try and play the queen of hearts and hope my partner's got singleton king of clubs, or I can try and cash the diamond first, which seems like a better option. And now see if my partner's got anything to rough in with. So down one plus a hundred, probably pretty reasonable. My partner didn't have much, and we got our five tricks, which we can always do. We don't really need to do much. So hopefully that one's an imp in. Uh, can we make anything? We lose two hearts, a spade, a diamond. Two hearts, a spade, and diamond. So maybe nine tricks. Technically, they can get a heart rough. So potentially down one. Uh, but uh, uh, plus a hundred, I'll take it. Twelve points, pass, pass, pass. I've got spades, so easy one spade opening. One no trump, and that is where we'll play. Double. So take out double, but we don't have a fit anywhere. It's double by me is biddable diamonds. I'm not going to try and penalize two diamonds. Uh, East probably has four spades. I think spades are four, five, two, two. I could try leading a spade, but I don't want to. Let's try eight of hearts. Okay. Um, eight, jack, ace, small. So East has the king of hearts. I don't know who has the queen. Switch, so East has four spades, my partner has two, so spades are two, two, five, four. East could be four, triple, three on spades, but they would probably would pin two clubs if that was the case. So maybe four, two, four, three, or four, three, four, two. A uh, couple of guesses that East could have. Anyway, jack of spades, let's force out the ace. Diamond to me. Let's just duck one club. Okay, we'll take the ace now. All right, so we've got uh, our club trick. Um. I could play a low spade, which they might need to rough high, but then they could rough high and play a club pitching their heart. I could try playing a heart now. I could potentially draw a trump, play a heart over, my partner plays another trump. If I play a low spade, even if they're rough high, let's try a slow spade. Alright, so they had a Dalton club, so they're either a uh, 4-2-5-2 or a 4-3. Like they, they could have pitched their heart. I don't know why they didn't pitch their heart. Okay, so they're a 4-2-2-5. Oh, 4-2-5-2. Two. Making two. Uh, making nine tricks, sorry. We got all our tricks. We don't have a fit anywhere. I guess, I, like, I should have passed it in. Uh, yeah, it seems crazy to me to pass it in. But, uh, yeah, minus 110. Probably pretty normal. Again, if anything, lose maybe a little. Uh, 10, 13, balanced hand, start with a club. Double! We've got a spade fit, so I'll bid two spades. And we get to play that. Alright, 
two heart losers, three club losers, a spade loser. They're starting with diamonds. Looks like I want to draw trumps. I might be able to throw a club on the third round of hearts. So let's go king of diamonds and low spade. Okay, spades are 3 2. Uh, I'll be able to rough the final round of diamonds. I just want to build this heart trick. Hopefully, they don't get two hearts, a spade, and three clubs. Nope. Don't know why they didn't draw the, the trump earlier, but that's fine. Okay, and we got the rest. Queen Jack Dalton. Right, so good Queen to the Ace Club back. They they could have taken an extra trick, I reckon. Alright. Uh, they can't quite untangle it because West has both the Ace King of Hearts. But let's say Hearts here. They win. And now if they play the Queen of Clubs and goes duck duck king. And, yeah, they can't untangle it because it's Queen Jack Dalton. I was thinking they could have got two clubs, two hearts, and a spade, but because the clubs are blocked, no, no chance. Anyway, that was board number five. Hopefully that was my first, like, actual impian. Not that I deserve an impian. I didn't really do anything. Uh, 10, 14 points, 5, 4, 2, 2. Start with a spade, rebid two clubs. Tino Trump's invite. Yeah. I've got aces. I love aces. That's what bridge is about, is having aces. Um, gives you control and options. Okay, so I've got two diamonds, a club, a heart is four, a spade is five. So I could try and work on clubs, which could net me two more tricks. Um, I could try and work on spades, which might net me four more tricks. So looks like working on spades is a decent option, in which case I want to be in the north end. We've got the two diamonds lead, which looks like diamonds are four, three. Uh, so I can win the king of diamonds and just lead the spade. Um, I've got decent pips here. Not in diamonds, but in all the other suits. So that was offside, and a heart is coming. All right, so if I duck this heart and I win, I could fly ace and lead a club towards the 10. They might be able to get, say, two heart tricks, a club, and a spade. If I duck this, they win and play another diamond, then I might have four spade tricks, two diamonds, a six, a club, and a heart. And I could try double finessing hearts, but from the nine, it looks like that's a uh, top of nothing. So let's play east for the good hearts, uh, which means east has king, queen of hearts, and probably a diamond on her. They might not have anything in clubs, but uh, we'll try it anyway. I've got the ten of spades as an entry back. Jack of clubs. Down she goes. Um, I needed an extra club trick. Both the hearts were offside. And, yeah. Ah, King Queen Dalton and the robot false carded me. So, I think I can make if I guess the King Queen Dalton. Pretty happy with what I played. The heart read was good. So, 3 no down 2. Seems, seems reasonable. I'm very happy with it. That was cute. West took the King first and then the Queen in clubs. Usually you take the Queen first. Um, yeah, so, I thought that the robots... I'm not sure. Like, 
he, humans false card all the time when it's uh, us playing the suit. It's when your partner leads to you that you don't really don't want a false card. Uh, but here when I led a club to the 10, yeah. I was a bit dubious. It looked like East had King, Queen of Hearts and a Diamond Honor. But there's still room for them to have the Queen of Clubs, but not to be. Uh, so we'll lose a couple more imps. Right, let's have a quick review. For, took a bad sack. I thought that I'd be able to get six spades, a club seven, and an extra trick. So if my partner had the king of spades and some useful card, maybe like the queen of clubs, then that would be a good save. So happy, well, it didn't work out, but I was okay with taking the save. One node down one. Uh, here, played it pretty well. Took the double finesse, didn't work. Bought three, what did I do? We beat three clubs a trick, which is the best I could do. Board four, I didn't pass it in, which I think would be ridiculous, uh, but minus 110. Board five, two spades plus one, just took my tricks. Board six, very happy with how I played this one, but uh, down two. So I think I'm playing well, but without luck at the moment. Uh, two boards to play. Ten, look, 13 points and a six card suit. All right. So if playing well without luck didn't work for me, I'm going to try and upgrade this into a no trump. <laughs> I like very rarely do this, but like a six card suit's kind of worth two points. If I had 14 and a five card suit, I'd open a no trump every day of the week. Let's try it. Like this is a swingy action, but not necessarily a bad action. I don't very often do this, but yeah, we get to play in two hearts, which does not seem like a particularly fun spot to be in. If I open a club, I'd go a club, a heart, two clubs, swish, which also has a couple of hearts, spade, loser, and maybe some bad clubs. So maybe we want clubs to be offside. Do I want to duck this first spade? Does that achieve anything? It allows me to have control of the spade suit, which means if spades are five two, it's a bit better. But uh, I'm just going to win. And try and draw trumps. Uh, it's weird in hearts, like, did West stick in the jack from Queen Jack 4th, or did uh, hearts 3-3 three, three and East just overtook? So to get rid of this diamond loser, I could play like a club to the queen, and then uh, ace club to rougher club. Hmm. Or I could play for trumps to be breaking and come out of heart. Uh, let's just get rid of the trump. Yeah, West stuck in a heart from queen jack fourth. So that, that was good that that got rid of a loser there. Um, West had Queen Jack of Hearts, King Queen of Spades, and maybe a Diamond card. I missed that. Played too quickly. Um, Club finesse or not? And making nine tricks. Plus one forty. How good's that? Uh, so if I bid one club, two clubs, I have a club loser, I have a heart loser, I have a spade loser, so I'd make ten tricks. So maybe I get ten points better. Maybe this would be a good match point score. But yeah, 140, I'll take it. I think they can hold, like, can't hold me to nine, but they could have held me to nine. Like, I could have played club, worked on clubs, I think. So here, heart to the king. Now, another heart. It's weird that that didn't cost. I guess if uh, they didn't do that, I would have to abandon playing on trumps and set up clubs to uh, get rid of my losers. But uh, just gave me another alternative. Anyway, uh, last board. 
A diamond, pass a diamond, pass to me. 15 points, 3 aces and a king. I love aces, this is another good hand. Potential pushy slam on this hand, but most likely just a game. Um, three clubs. Four plus hearts, rebittable diamonds. We're not going anywhere. What do I need? So if my partner's got like ace king queen to six diamonds and four hearts to the king. Alright, so if I've got ace king queen to six diamonds and king fourth heart, then we have six diamond tricks, two hearts is eight, two spades is ten, and a club is eleven in no trumps. In diamonds I could go heart, heart, heart rough. Trumps. Okay, so if my partner's got ace king queen to six diamonds and the king of hearts, we've got 12 tricks in diamonds. Should I be optimistic here? The answer is probably no. This feels like a three no trump bid, but let's go on, a, on an adventure. Why are you doing this to me? No, because you can't concubit anything. Didn't get doubled. That's the first bit of good news. Wow. Sweet. I just need, like, diamonds 3-2 with the ace on side. <laughs> but how, like... Yeah, I didn't bid this well, but I was trying to get some imps. Uh, sure. I also need there not to be a... Okay, boo. That's sad. Down we go. Um, yeah, so there was a rough on as well. Okay, so we're just down one. But it actually had some play. Okay, so how did I go? I went really poorly. Uh, let's say minus 12 imps is my projected score. Um, largely losing most of it on the first one. I reckon I just lost drips and drabs throughout the rest. But I thought it was a, a reasonable shot. If my partner actually had good diamonds. Obviously they didn't like, bid that way. But uh, yeah, provisionally... How do we go? Minus 11. So we lost 5 imps on 3 no down 2 where I thought I played that one well. And another 5.8 there. Um, but yeah, so that was the free day long tournament. Uh, tried a couple of things in the last two boards. Uh, neither of them worked. I guess 7 kind of worked. But uh, yeah. So the results are in and I have had my worst finish in this Finishing in 8,044th position with minus almost 11 imps. But let's see who actually did well. So Ace Eastwood took it out uh, with plus 26.27 in 245th spot. With Z325-2165 uh, in 351st. And Dokia, Dr. Aculia in 815th. So well done to all of you for your top 1,000 finishes. If you want to join this friendship group, add me as a friend, Slink2, S-L-I-Y-N-K-2. Post in the comments that you've added me, and I'll add you back. And this is just for the free day-long tournament. Let's have a quick look through these hands. Uh, so I thought that this was my worst performance, but... Uh, I, I, there's not much I'd actually take back. The last two boards was pretty swingy, but I knew that I was down a bit, swung, lost more. Okay, so uh, I took the save here. I think it'll be right most of the time. Um, wow, some people got out for down two. So what did they do? Um, so the robots can get you for down three. Okay, they just bid four spades over... So they bid four spades. You get down two if you just bid four spades over three hearts. Someone who bid three spades, which I think is right, because you just want to try and buy it there. Sometimes you will buy it. Um, 
Okay, and it took me a lot of time to work out if I was going to sack. So here's spade lead, they drew another trump, and they let a diamond up just like me. Club lead, ducked, heart over, ace of hearts, diamond, the club. So the one thing different that they did is they drew the second trump, but it seems weird that that would cause it to swing. A uh, bunch of people in the middle that didn't take the save uh, flat board, otherwise you lost two imps. Uh, one no trump, down one. Uh, kind of disappointed that uh, went off here. Lots of people went down three or four. Some people made over tricks. Quick look at what they did. So king of hearts lead. Uh, duck, queen of hearts, one, jack of hearts, another heart. Low clod towards their hand. I guess, like, you can sort of double hook like this. You can lead a low club up and then finesse the other way. Is there any real reason to do that over the other line? I guess East might be slightly more likely to have the king of clubs when West led top hearts, but other than that, I was happy with how I played it. Uh, board three, three clubs down one. Uh, yep, so win two imps for what I thought would be a pretty flat board. A uh, bunch of people letting it make. A bunch of people just doubling two clubs, uh, which is rebittable clubs, not take out of clubs, and they get punished. All right, uh, plus, well, lose one imp for, I guess, the pass bot. Are people passing this in? Not really. Some people are getting to two spades which I don't like that two spade bit at all. Uh, some people are beating two diamonds. What did they do? Spade lead off, off from the start. Diamond up, they won. Another spade lead. Club, they won. Another spade, roughed high. Club where they get... Oh, they roughed it because they didn't have their club to pitch the uh, diamond there. And then they rough it and get over roughed. Um, interesting. Uh, like, I guess you could lead a spade straight away. Uh, to me, didn't really ask for a spade lead. I knew East had long spades, and I thought they might be in a moise, so I would prefer to try and tap them. So I tried to lead through what might be their strength, which was hearts, but uh, failed. Anyway, uh, two spades plus one, uh, flat board. Pretty much everyone doing the same thing. Some people doubling two hearts and getting plus 300 out of it. Okay, so they just never bid the spades at all. And, wow, you can get plus 300 out of it. And then uh, three no down two for lose five. Uh, a bunch of people making this. So, uh, they bid the same way. Diamond lead. They won the king. Ten of spades, got the heart switch, ducked, and at this stage, uh, if the robots switch to diamonds, they've got one heart, one spade, and two diamonds, right? Diamonds are kind of blocked, so they can't actually get to all of them, so I guess that's why, they, like, they're low diamonds, uh, ace, ten, small, and then you go... Another heart, which they win, but the diamond suit's blocked. So they took the double heart finesse, I guess. Um, but uh, Queen of Diamonds setting up the eight. Still good enough to beat it, wow. And just a diamond to dummies eight. Huh. Um... Yeah, okay. I was happy with how I played that one. Uh, two hearts plus one got me an imp. Uh, some people got to one no trump, where they opened a club and rebid a no trump, which is reasonable. Other people made ten tricks in two clubs. Yeah, I took a swinging action. Don't really do this too often, but I don't think it's completely unreasonable. And then finally, tried for a slam. And it wasn't there, but it wasn't terrible. Um, can't make any slam. Uh, can you make spades? 
You can't make it. But six spades is close, I think. Yeah, so they can beat it on a club lead, which then can sort of uh, make it too awkward to set up diamonds or hearts and pick up the uh, spade position and all that. Anyway, uh, that was the free day-long tournament. Hope you enjoyed it. There were some interesting hands there. Love to hear how you guys went. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.